Hey guys, this is Natesh, and we're here with some more Magic 2015. I am blowing through this game. So, last we saw, I got to Chandelar. Now let's... Let's hope I manage to actually go this whole recording session without the game crashing out on me. Alright. So, let's storm the castle. You've discovered the location of an ancient map that can direct you to the tomb. But the castle protecting it is under siege. You join the besieging army, hoping to overcome the castle's defenses and secure the map. I actually completely forget what voice I was using for that. Like, I forget how I was actually able to do that with the microphone in this position. Okay, Storming the Castle plays first. Okay. I'm okay with that. Start out with the guild gate. Move into a necromancer's assistant. Okay. That could get a little inconvenient. But oh, this is great. Oh, this is really good. Start out with the guild gate. Go ahead, swing for one. I don't really care. Okay, Elite Vanguard. Not very pleasant. Seder uh, Wayfinder. Come on, what's my land? Uh, swamp. Okay. So, oh, that's sweet. I already got three creatures in there, and it's turn two. Make that four creatures. I already know he's gonna survive it. Okay. This isn't good. I am not very happy about this. Necromancer's assistant. Oh, I gotta use that. I wouldn't have minded that titanic growth. Okay, so... Why are you attacking with that? Block the big one. The thing you're not really getting here. Oh, good. Oh, that's gonna be fun. See, the thing he's not really getting here is that I don't mind my stuff dying. I am fine with my cards ending up in the graveyard. Okay. 
Okay, so. He swings with that one. I double block. Oh, god damn it. Fuck. Does not help at all. Could have gone a bit better. Alright. So. Necromancer's assistant. Oh, wait, yeah. Still flipping my stuff over. And. Death Cultist. God damn it! Getting real tired of this. Hell no, I'm not keeping this hand. Okay, yeah, see, that? That is a better hand. Oh. But you don't have anything to play? Hang on. Did their opening hand have one land? No, wait, two lands. Their opening hand had two lands. Actually, I don't think I do right now. I think I want to start with getting that on the field. And then skipping the attack. <laughs> Doing a lot of two mana. I'm gonna end up dropping a bunch of mind rots, and it's just going to be like a million seven drop creatures. do that I can take out a bunch of what he's got or I could take it a little slower kill off that thing and then
swing that. There we go. Get the first couple of hits in. And throw down another one. Oh, he's got his third land. Alright. Can block any number of creatures. I actually worked out this one combo involving... I forget what the card was, but... It was... Something like this. And then I put Ghostly Possession on it, so it just blocks everything. No one else gets an attack through. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, not a huge fan of that. Continue. And gonna swing that. Actually, why bother? Why bother pumping it? Single blocking. If he's willing to. I don't have any creatures in my graveyard. Stop showing up. I'm gonna end up winning this without actually using my graveyard's energies. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Gonna continue and... Four, seven. That would be risky. It would be risky to both of us. Which kind of makes me think he's not going to... do exactly what he just chose to do. Okay. I'm an idiot. He was gonna do that. Okay. And I'm just gonna skip that. nice as a land that comes in untapped would be, I wouldn't actually be using it for anything. I want some more life, so... Uh, 
Oh, you're not going to block that? <laughs> Wait, you're really not going to block that? <laughs> Okay. I am okay with that. Okay. Now he's getting all his pumping in. Oh, let's see, who do I want to kill? I want to flesh to dust that. Crap. None of these are a good idea right now. But the thing that can block a lot of stuff is no longer in play. Okay, so how do I want to do this? That is definitely blocking that. No, no, wait. Why give up my big creatures just for the hell of it? I'll take the three from that. That one attack you let through put me up seven. I can handle it. Okay, one, two, three. Good news. Alright. So, I'm gonna continue. Okay. Fine. just gonna be come at me bro for like turns to come because <laughs> I am at 32 life right now I don't need to care that you're attacking <laughs> go ahead <laughs> I'll gain back that life in my next attack I don't actually need to care. And none of this is actually bringing you back up. Okay. Okay, so. that again. Pump. Pump. And there we go. Well, the funny thing is, you might have actually made a little progress. Oh! Hello. This is, in fact, becoming a problem.
four. Sweet. Two drop nemesis of one. I love it when I can do that. Okay. So I think at this point, I need to start playing it safe. So. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. So I've got enough to make him go monstrous. Or. Because I know he's going to attack with everything. And that's. Instead, I'm going to go with Necromancer's Assistant. can build an army too, jackass. Okay. You know, I am totally fine to just leave it at this. Just let it sit till next turn. If he attacks, he's losing creatures and gaining me life. And then next turn, I swing all out. Big pump to anything that gets through. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh, I can do this. I can do this. Watch this, watch this. Okay. Look at the size of my field right now. Then attack with everything that can attack. Okay, you kill one. That is still more than you can handle. Okay, stop timer. So, one of these is getting through. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Uh, 15, 16 spider, gotta love it. Ha! 
Yes, there we go. Alright. What does Chandelar have to give me? Shadowborn Demon. This is awesome. This is great in this deck. This is going in. Like, immediately. I'm changing my deck real quick before anything else happens. Get back here, dex tab. So... So now, taking that out, because Shadowborn Demon, pretty much the same effect, but it's also a 5-6 creature, and the closest it comes to a drawback is that if my graveyard has fewer than 6 creatures, I have to sacrifice a creature at the beginning of my upkeep. First off, how is that not a good thing for this deck? You know, I like sacrificing my creatures. It helps me out. Or, I've already got six creatures in my graveyard, and I don't actually have to care. So, I do actually... I wish I had another one of these. So, I really wish I had more for this video, but I do kind of have to end it here just for now. I'm probably coming back to it in like an hour or so. I just gotta make sure I get something else recorded. So, just stay tuned for it. This is Nitesh. Keep enjoying the videos and subscribe to help the channel and see more.